reason why we do what we do. Because see, we're always going to be going through something. Amen. You might as well forget that. <laughs> While we're on this side of time, mm -hmm. we're always going to be going through something. We're always going to be struggling with something. You know, but that's life mm -hmm. on life's terms. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? You know, yeah. And uh, 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 I'd like to thank Brother Joe for reading that, those scriptures. He, he gave the whole text, which is good. You know, so you can see where I'm trying to go this morning. And I'd like to thank Brother Bill for that wonderful song service. And I'd like to thank you all, because it's been a long weekend. We've had a wonderful weekend here at Inner City in Christ. You know, uh, yesterday we, we had the uh, uh, sexual purity. Uh, 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 you know, for, for the children, for the young people, you know, trying to uh, show them how much we love them by warning them of sexual sin. And it wasn't just for the young people, but it was for the, 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 the adults, the young adults, the in-between adults, and the uh, older adults. You know, because undue to popular demand, or, or, or maybe even understanding, one of the highest groups that are suffering from, from STDs these days are senior citizens. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, yeah, and the senior citizen home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they, they, right up, they right up there with the, the teens and the young adults. Yeah, do, yeah, yeah, so watch out. That's why we all need the message. Mm -hmm. You know, but it was a wonderful, wonderful time and the kids, the young people here, I think it, it, it had an impact. And that's, that's, a, that's what we wanted to do, bring them to an awareness. And then, you, of course, uh, Brother Simons, I heard, I wasn't here, but I heard he did a wonderful job yesterday at, at, at the uh, our street talk. You know, Brother Lord had to go home and work on his sermon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But this morning, I want to bring you a message. The Comforting Christ. That's the title of the sermon, The Comforting Christ. You know, the text brings comfort for those back in the old days and those difficult days. You know, Jerusalem was under siege by the Assyrians and King Hezekiah had been near death. And what I'm trying to point out is that personal and national peril is still affects us today. You know, letting you know that it's, it, it's not going to stop. You know, uh, 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 but I want to tell you this, that the God of all comfort cares about what we're going through. Amen? Amen. It didn't stop with the, you know, the church of old, or, or it didn't stop with the, the, uh, uh, the people that were under the law. It continues today in the Christian age. Amen? Amen. You know, he cares about our problems we are facing today. You know, he cares about yesterday's disappointments and tomorrow's fears. You know, because some of us are sitting here looking at CNN and, and you know, and Fox News about what's going on. You know, and don't, don't, don't frame this. Don't sit down and get caught up in there. See, because if you got Christ on you know, we're prepared for whatever comes. Amen? Amen? You know, that's that's what it's all about. It ain't preparing to stay here, it's preparing to be here. Amen. Amen? Amen. But the beauty is we get blessings while we're here. Amen. When we walk with Jesus. Amen. 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 He helps us when nobody else will. You know, and this hold on to this right here. Nothing takes the comforting Christ by surprise. Mm. None of this mess that's going on Amen. takes God by surprise. Because if you read the Bible, he told you it was going to happen. Mm. Amen? Amen? You know, so I'm going to share with you three great comforts that minister to troubled Christians. And comfort number one is that the comfort of Christ, that Christ's birth meets our humanity, our humanness. And uh, I'm going to read from Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, and it says, Therefore, the Lord himself will give a sign. Behold, a virgin birth. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and he 
and, and shall be called the name Emmanuel. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. And from Isaiah 9, 6 through 7, it says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders. And his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, mm -hmm. Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Of the throne of, 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 of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Mm -hmm. Upon the throne of David and over the kingdom, to order it and establish it with the judgment and the justice from that time forward, even forever. Isn't that a wonderful message? Even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Amen. You know, we are confident that the birth of God meets our humanity. The birth of Jesus meets our humanity. Mm -hmm. You know, Isaiah prophesied the birth of John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. He said he would be the voice of one crying in the wilderness. You know, Isaiah 40 and 3 says that prepare ye the way of the Lord. And guess what? John the Baptist prepared the way of Christ. Mm -hmm. It happened. Mm -hmm. You know, the comforting, you know, the comforting meets us where we are. God meets each one of us where we are. Okay. You know, because he knows where we are, mm -hmm. even before we tell him. Amen. He already know where he is. He know that he know what you're struggling with. He know what you're going through. He know the joys in your life. He knows everything that's going on with you. And that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. You know, Galatians four five through four through five says, "But when the fullness of time had come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who are under the law, that we might receive the adoption of as sons of God." Isn't it wonderful knowing that we are adopted by Jesus? We are adopted by God. We are fellow heirs with Jesus Christ. In spite of our shortcomings, in spite of our iniquities, in spite of our character defects, in spite of our struggles, you know, that we are in the will. We are in the will. Amen. You don't have to sit around like you sit around some, 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 some of us that are, 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 are here Wait to hear the will and then don't hear your name. <laughs> Gave everybody something, but we still wait. You know, and one thing about being in the will is that we all get the same thing. Mm. Amen. See, don't nobody get no more than nobody else. Amen. You either get in heaven or you ain't. <laughs> There's no in between. You know, you get half of heaven and half of hell. No, no, no. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, he made us. In his humble birth, he met us in his humble birth in, in Bethlehem State, according to Luke chapter 2. You know, he became the son of man that we might become the sons of God. Amen. 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 You know, we can shout up in this camp. Mm. You know, when we sing your songs, we can see singing with joy in our hearts, man, going over to the glory name. Mm. Not like we're going to a funeral. Mm. <laughs> you know, yeah. We're going to a humble. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh, in the glory now. You know, yeah. You know, Christ brings down the proud and exalts the humble. Mm -hmm. That's what he does. Wow. See, see, so you don't have to worry about trying to go bring down the proud. God, God got that coming. Amen. And you don't have to worry about trying to be different out because he got that coming. Amen. You know, yeah. You know, that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. You know, the Verses are, are 4 and 5 and 40 cha the 40th chapter Isaiah says, Every valley shall be exalted, every mountain shall be, and hill brought, left, brought low, the crooked places shall be made straight. <coughs> How about that? Mm -hmm. And the rough places smooth. You know, that sounds like my life, the story of my life. You know, God straightened it out. Amen. He made the crooked face is straight. All right. You know, he's made, whenever I go through the rough prayers, he makes them smooth. Amen. Amen. You know, they don't stay rough forever. All right. He smooths them out. You know, yeah. You know, the glory of the God shall be revealed. 
and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. <coughs> Amen. Amen. You know, because it's all about the word of God. You know, and show you how beautiful we're being blessed. This morning I got a phone call. Oh, what is seven thirty? Seven thirty-five, right after the TV show uh, uh, went off. Uh, what is it? Uh, search, search the scriptures. Search the scriptures that we and, and, and we're on it at the end about the church from the Church of Christ, and it's five churches on there, and, and inner city is the last one announced. And the young lady was down in the Good Samaritan Hospital with her son, watching. And she called to find out about this church. Amen. That preaches the scriptures. Amen. You know, that preaches nothing but Bible. You know, and uh, she was all excited. Talking about her husband was looking for, you know, a church that preaches the truth, that preaches the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, she sat there and watched that lesson and she couldn't wait to call. Mm -hmm. You know, something about, being, something about being the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't remember the phone number. <laughs> oh, man. I said, oh, me and my wife looked at each other. We were, we were just sitting there. We finished what we watched. He was like, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was pre teaching about those who worship God in spirit and in truth. Amen. 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 My second point is that the comfort of Christ's death and resurrection meets our need for a Savior. Mm -hmm. It meets our need for a Savior. You know, 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 and 4 says this, For I delivered to you first of all that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. You know, this is what this is. This is the gospel. Mm -hmm. This is the gospel. Mm -hmm. The reason for the existence of the church. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the whole reason for the existence of the church. You know, you know the, the doctrine of the death and resurrection of Christ is the foundation of Christianity. Amen. It's our foundation. You know, remove this and all our hope for eternity sink all at once. Mm -hmm. You know, so we got to teach it. We got to preach it. We got to show it in our lives. You know, yes. Amen. Here is comfort for both. This is this, 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 this here about a church being here, the gospel being here. Is the, uh, uh, this is the, the, the comfort of both time and what time where we are now mm -hmm. and eternity where we're going. Mm -hmm. It covers both ends of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You know, we should be jumping up and down, y'all. You know. Because uh, before Christ, we, we didn't we didn't have no way out. Amen. There was no way out. Amen. We was hell bound on the grave. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah. You know, the death and resurrection of Christ proved his love for us. See, he proved his love for us. He came down from eternity, put on flesh, and then died for us. Suffered and died for us. But the beauty was he was resurrected. Amen. No resurrection, no Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Romans 5 and 8 says that but God demonstrated his own love towards us, and while we were yet sinners, mm -hmm. Christ died for us. You know, we didn't have to be good, we didn't have to be anything special. You know, there was no way we could really measure up to anything. Amen. Once man fell from God's grace, Amen. you know, it was given. It was given. It was purpose in God's heart. Isn't it wonderful? Amen. Yes. That we are being guaranteed this comfort in every trial that we go through. You know, sickness and health, rich or poor. You know, yeah. Good times, bad times. You know, God, God is here. He's with us. Because one thing he told us, he'll never let us bear more than we can. He'll never let you bear more than we can. And he always give you a way to escape from sin. Even when you, you run, sin on you. You, you don't know where to go. 
All of a sudden, you get to a, a street, street called street. <laughs> All you got to do is turn on. Amen. Amen. And he put it there for you because he know you're trying to get away. He know you're trying to get away. He ain't going to let you go to no dead end to get your way out. Anyway, we serve a mighty awesome God. Amen. We serve a mighty awesome God. You know, yeah, so 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 uh, 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 we are guaranteed his comfort in every trial. You know, the one who loves us will never leave us or forsake us. Didn't he say it? Mm -hmm. Did he say it in his word? He will never leave us or forsake us. You know, that ain't like me saying it. See, I might leave you. <laughs> I might forsake you. See, because we might be in a situation, and I'm just like you, I might get scared. <laughs> you know? And I, I might thought I was going to stay, but I got scared and left. You know, but God don't do that. Amen. Thank God. You know, thank, thank you. Gee, he don't do that. Hebrews 13, 5, it says, let, let your conduct be without covetousness, mm -hmm. but contend with such things as you have. For him, for he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may be bold, we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. And what can man do to me? Huh? Mm -hmm. You got God on your side. You know, who can put you down? Who can do anything to you? Amen. You know, man might be able to kill the body, but he can't kill my soul. Amen. See, see, God got that. I'm going to live on forever. Yeah. No matter what happens here. Amen. You know? And, 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 and the part the point is, you're leaving here. You're going to leave here. Mm. One way or another, you're leaving. You, know, you ain't staying here. Mm. Amen. You know? So the preparation should be preparing to leave here. Amen. That's what we should be doing. See, we spend more time trying to prepare like we want to stay here. You know, even if you live the rest of life and make it to a hundred, you going to leave it. See, my goal, I want to get to the smoker's job. Yeah. I want to be like this man I met that was 104 years old. You know, he had on his little suit. Both of us was at, we was, we was at a, 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 a rehabilitation. I was there getting rehabilitated. He just go there to work out. <laughs> he was 104 years old. He was telling me, you know, talking about he, he still had his his uh, 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 driver's license, trucker's license. What is it? Uh, uh, CDL. He still had a CDL. He said the oldest living with an active CDL. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He wasn't driving, though. <laughs> he was kind of like he was about with my college license. You know, I just keep it up. <laughs> I ain't really doing hair right now. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But I keep it, keep it at because you never know. You know? And the one who comforts, comforted, and the discouraged disciples will comfort us. You know, they were discouraged back then, but he comforted